I'm Joel Posey, and I'm here for MBN News Video Web with Margaret Rowe. And as you see, we have these wonderful jewelry pieces that she's already decked me out in. I got some earrings, which, by the way, I do not have pierced ears. She has these as clip earrings, which I don't know about you girls, but sometimes they weigh really heavy and you want to just clip them on instead of having to actually put them in your ear. These are perfect for it. And this gorgeous bracelet. And we're here having the best time. We just came from a fitting at Jordana Gelhausen's, and now we're learning all about jewelry and Oscar season and what people are trending with, what you are actually going to have displayed on the red carpet here. Yes, oh, well thank you, Joelle. I appreciate that introduction. Well, I thought I would show you right off the bat this beautiful set. These earrings are very much a cluster style and just the perfect length, about mid-length. And these will be worn by a very important person with the Academy. And along with this bracelet, this multi-strand Art Deco bracelet with amazing baguettes and rounds. And it also doubles as a necklace. Oh, really? Yes. And what you're seeing here is an example of many of the pieces that you will actually see on the red carpet. Pieces that have been chosen mm -hmm. by some important uh, uh, people that will be, that have the honor of being at the award show. Yes, so you've been actually going to some style lounges and yes. that's how you come across some of the celebrities and different parties and so what, um, as you know, we're going into Oscar season, what are you finding as trends? What do you look for when displaying specific pieces for an yeah. individual? Well, you know, because, since the Oscar is, the Oscars is a very elegant ceremony, most women are looking to be a bit more on the conservative side with their jewelry. Sure. So the most important jewelry item is the earrings. So you can see here, these are some of the selections they may have on, their dress may be highly decorated with embroidery and, and beading and, and crystals. So they may go a little bit simple with just the earrings. However, if they have, if they have bare arms, they're looking at a lot of these cuff bracelets. Mm -hmm. you can, Which are absolutely gorgeous, but each one has its own personality to it. They do, they do. This is definitely quite a cross section of pieces. For instance, this will be worn with a column style dress in black and white. And the, the angles on this particular piece, you'll see the bows, the deco bows, it very much follows the lines of the dress. Mm -hmm. And you will see, for instance, we have some tone on tone. I have another client wearing these two pieces together because they like sort of the, the muted look of the, of the black diamonds and the hematite metals. Which is gorgeous, you know. Yes. And you'll see a lot of a lot of whites, a lot of clear stones, topaz, diamonds, mm -hmm. crystal quartz. And you'll also see some gold. For instance, this bracelet will be seen on the carpet along with these earrings. So it, it really depends. The selections depend on, on the gown that she has chosen and then jewelry is always the next step. You will also see this beautiful pendant necklace, this floral pendant necklace, along with some of these post earrings. And you'll also see some headpieces. Headpieces oh. are, are, are more and more popular mm -hmm. every year because they bring the light up to the face. Right, which is where you want everyone to be looking. It's always the idea of you don't want the dress to wear you, you want to be wearing the dress. And that's, that's right. where the beauty comes in. So of course, anything that can bring it back to your face and your appearance, yes. you, you definitely want. And these are absolutely stunning here. Yes, you can see this is a floral sort of Art Nouveau style, as well as these two, a little bit larger, a couple tinier pieces. And, uh, and I also do larger head pieces that tie in the back in sort of a, a Gatsby style. These are very cool and they also double as belts. Oh, exactly. So if you have maybe more a regular, just one tone dress, you want to add some glitz glamour to it, you can just yes. wrap it around, you can do the head. Choker. Oh, very, see, and I'm all about versatility because as us girls know, when you have to be on the red carpet time and time again, you you have a certain distinct look that you love, but you wear your dress and you, you're done. That's The yes. dress has been worn, it's at this event, it's in photos, you don't particularly want to be the girl who wore the dress again. 
unless there's something new. Adding yes. a belt to it, adding a jacket to it, and that's so key. Yes. I love when you get to accessorize and kind of update it. That's right. In fact, the earrings you have on are convertible. The oh. drops actually come off, and then they're simply posts. Oh, see, and that's gorgeous because then exactly when you're going from day to night, when you're going from one event to the other, this can even work depending on if your hair's up or down. Yeah. Because that's the thing I always think about too. If your hair is up, you want something that's a little bit more significant to kind of fill the gap. But if I wanted to pull my hair down for the event later, then exactly, I could take yes. off. See, I love it. We're having so much fun here. Joyce is too. We've already been playing and talking. Now, we were discussing too how a lot of people go immediately to the dress. They think about, you know, who some of the amazing designers are, but jewelry is kind of a second, maybe afterthought. And I think that that is absolutely silly because these are statement pieces, and you'll see it time and time again. Someone who knows how to wear jewelry right, they'll be the one who's in the fashion magazine. They'll be the one they're talking about on the carpet. What do you look for when you're trying to get that statement piece or trying to talk to someone and kind of explain how this is so key. Right. Well, I, I explained to them the importance of jewelry and how when you see when you see the brightness and you see the metal catch the light, it brings that person to life. The minute you put those earrings on, it just it just lit you up. And so I like to encourage my clients to think about jewelry even before they have found the perfect gown. For instance, this Cleopatra deco collar is an amazing piece. In fact, it's been my go-to necklace on a few occasions because the minute you put it on, it just brings your whole look to life. And again, you can transition it with many different looks and wear sort of a plain column dress and, uh, and build, your, build your jewelry wardrobe around more, more simple sheets and, and solid colors. And something for us reporters that we always care about, because we're holding microphones a lot of times, we are always looking for rings and bracelets and stuff that you can see on the hand. And you have some gorgeous rings here. Can you tell us a little yes, bit? Yes, that's right. That's right. I do have a number of reporters that will wear my rings exactly. to decorate and also to attract the attention of a celebrity that might be walking by. And so, yes, in fact, this is one of my most favorite rings. It's a bit of a corsage. Mm -hmm. These are all handmade and I work with a filigree base and you can see they will spread across multiple fingers yeah. and they look amazing when you're holding on to a clutch bag. So if you have your clutch purse mm -hmm. and you can see the, the embellishment on your hand, it's just a beautiful detail. And a lot of the a lot of the press, a lot of the paparazzi that are that are shooting the event will focus on the hand and the purse and the clutch and mm -hmm. and the celebrity will receive that many more photos on of course. The, on the online. Yes. And I mean that is the goal. You do want to get the pictures out, and this is great for you as well because it is what you're saying. If you have a clutch, people don't always think about your hands, but you always need your nails done. You need that to look nice because you will be clutching it, and there are those reporters who are focusing on you know your shoes, on your purses, because those are designer usually as well, especially yes. at the Oscars. Yes, and they're very easy to wear. For instance, this ring has a very smooth band, so it's easy to just throw on, and then maybe just have your ring and your earrings, and you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that we were very intrigued with is your men's line that you've actually started. Yes, yes, this is called Debonair, the men's Debonair line. And you can see they are rough cut, semi-precious cufflinks. So these, this pair is Herkimer Diamonds and they're considered, they're actually from the Quartz family, and you can see they're very rough cut, very masculine, mm -hmm. adds a lot of edge to a men's tuxedo. I just received a call today from someone that will be wearing these with a tuxedo this weekend. So yes, they just show a lot of character and individuality. Right now, the Pantone color of the year is very much a pinkish purple, so these sort of tie in and these are considered a druzy quartz. They're actually amethyst. Mm -hmm. So yes, those are very fun for, for red carpet Oscar yes. season. You can't leave out the men. I mean, come on. They do enjoy jewelry as well on women and for themselves. And so this is a nice little way for them to kind of decorate and add some flair to their yes, outfits as well. Yes, that's right. So if we want to keep up with you online, where should we go? MargaretRowe.com. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa!